Welcome back to the Mobile Fun YouTube channel, where we bring you the latest and greatest accessories for your devices. Today, we're taking a look at these protective cases for the Z Flip 3. Before we begin, to buy any of these products or any of the mobile accessories, please check the links in the description below. Now we've installed the Elixir case, let's have a look at it. As you can see, it's a pretty bulky case, and it's supposed to be. It's supposed to protect your Z Flip 3 the best. Let's start off with the front of the case. As you can see, you've got a good cutout for the screen and cameras, and you've also got this part that slides down. This means you can easily hide your notifications from others, or just stop anyone using the cameras without your knowledge. Moving on to the back, you can see it's got this pretty aggressive design, which personally I don't like, but I know there's plenty of other people out there that do. You've also got this flip up part where you can place your finger through and you can easily hold the phone like that. Uh, but it also doubles as a little stand for the phone. So a pretty good design from uh, that point of view. When placed flat on the table, it doesn't actually rock from side to side because of the camera protector and also the ring at the back. This is pretty good as normally when you have one of these on you, the case, your phone will rock around from side to side. Around the front, it's got a pretty generous lip all the way around. So if you place your phone face down on a table, you shouldn't have any problems with the screen getting scratched. Closing the phone up, you'll actually have a complete seal all the way around the phone rather than the usual wedge shape. That will hopefully stop any debris or anything else getting in between the screen and causing any damage. I actually really like this case in terms of its protection for the phone itself. The only thing I think they could have improved on is where the fingerprint reader is. There's not really a big cutout for it. I think if they just cut this little part away here, you would easily be able to get your thumb or finger in there to register your fingerprint easier. Next up, we have this case from Spigen. Now, this is a pretty thin case, and it also has little adhesive parts around where it attaches to the phone. This is because when you fold the Flip 3, there is no back of the phone. This means there is no back of the case, and it doesn't have that extra point of contact to keep it secure. This means a lot of cases use adhesive to help attach them to the phone. Now that the case is installed, you can see it has this pretty smooth and rounded look and it feels pretty nice in the hands. When you open it up, there's absolutely no gap in between where the fold crease is and it feels really nice to hold and pretty smooth and to be honest, just a nice feeling case. However, to me, it doesn't feel very protective. It has generous cutouts for the thumb and fingerprint reader and also some nice clicky buttons thanks to the slits either side of the volume rocker. It also has a nice big cutout for the screen and beveled in so you can easily swipe along your notifications and not catch it on the side of the case. But it also has a small little cutout here for the flash rather than a whole big one which some of the other cases in the collection don't have. And overall, it is just a pretty plain looking case, um, but nice at the same time. The only problem with this case in my eyes is it's not very protective. So I wouldn't necessarily pick this case up if you're someone who drops your phone on a regular basis. However, if you're someone who takes care of your technology and really babies them, then this case will give you good protection against scratches and dust and debris. However, probably not against drops. Next up, we have the Otterbox Symmetry Flex series. Now this case is clear with a black border slash bumper around the edges. Now the black border is not there for design purposes. It's actually there to help the drop protection of this case. You can feel the, around the edges, it's rubber, but then it moves into plastic. The rubber will help absorb the shock rather than your phone screen getting smashed or damaged. The case itself is made from glossy plastic um, and 
to be honest, the only thing I really don't like about it, it seems to attract fingerprints. I've only had this out of the box for a few minutes now and it is covered in fingerprints on the back. However, other than that, it has a lovely large cutout for the, your fingerprint reader. So your thumb really rests in there nicely compared to the other cases that we have had today. It has really nice buttons for the uh, volume rocker as it's made out of plastic rather than just being like molded rubber. And it's the only one that we've had here today so far that doesn't have any adhesive that would stick to the phone. This stays on the phone really well because it's made to fit the phone. My only concern with it is if you have a really serious drop, the case could fly off the phone. However, in our minimal testing, it has been okay so far. The window on the front is also really large. This is to accommodate the flash at the top. And to me, it looks a little bit off. I wish they did something similar to the rest of the cases that we have here with either having a circle cut out for the flash separate or having sort of a teardrop shape cut out with the rest of the screen. Although this will protect your phone if dropped, the only part it does not protect is the spine of the flip. This is because when it's closed, this is completely exposed and there's nothing to stop this hitting the ground if you drop it when it is closed. There's also a generous lip around the screen and this will help if you put your phone face down on a flat surface, it should not damage the screen. They also, when it's closed, there's a nice little divot out on the bottom of the case. This will help you to be able to put two thumbs or fingers in between and open up the flip. Overall, a pretty nice case that has been a bit let down by the glossy texture on the back. Next up, we have the UAG Civilian case. Like the Spigen that we've shown earlier, this case also has adhesive on the inside to help it stick to the phone. This should mean if you drop it, it shouldn't just fly off the rest of the phone and it will be secured on there. Now we've got the UAG Civilian installed on the Z Flip 3, you can see that the usual UAG rugged design is definitely here on this case. If you open the case up, you can see that this lovely blue color. On the side of this case, you've got a lovely generous cutout for the thumb and fingerprint reader. And you've also got lovely buttons as always on all UAG cases. This is because they use really flexible rubber, but the magic of this case really comes when you close it. As you can see, the spine of the flip is completely protected by a bit of flexible plastic. Now, while this is not the thickest plastic in the world, it's definitely gonna give you more protection than any of the others that we've shown today. So if protection is your number one priority, this case is for you. The case itself feels nice in the hands. However, it is just made from pretty hard plastic, so it's not gonna be comfortable to hold like a silicon case, for example. Although this case is thick, it doesn't feel too bad in the hands. And you can see that it has a lovely cutout for the screen on the front. This is nicely beveled in as well, so you won't catch your thumb or finger while scrolling through your notifications. It also has this lovely little cutout for the flash rather than a big one like we saw on the Otterbox earlier. Other than that, the case is pretty simple and pretty plain with smooth plastic everywhere and little divots to give it a little bit of a different design. It's also got this glossy UAG logo on the back. However, it's not massive, so you're not gonna notice it from afar. Moving on to the last case we have today, the official Samsung ring case. Like some of the others, you've got some adhesive on the back to help stick it in. Once installed, you can see that it fits the phone perfectly as you would expect because it's made by Samsung. I really like the olive color of this case here. I think it matches the Z Flip 3 dummy that we have perfectly. Now, as you can see, it's got this ring on the back of the case. Now, this can be used if you're holding the phone when it's folded or open, and it will help you secure it in your hand. If you slip or let go of the phone, it's not actually gonna fall. The silicon itself is soft to the touch and quite smooth and it's not sticky, so you shouldn't have any issue getting in or out of your pockets. Samsung have included a lovely cutout for your thumb and fingerprint reader, and also nice clicky buttons for the volume rocker. There is a small lip around the front of the screen, so you do have to be slightly careful when putting it face down on the table, 
And also when you put it the other way, you've got a ring on the back, so it will rock around. That can be slightly annoying. However, I can forgive it slightly because when you pick up the phone, at least the ring has a function and will help you secure your phone in your hand. Moving on to the front, you can see a nice cutout for the cameras and also screen, so you can easily swipe through notifications. And then you just have a nice circle hole punch cutout for the flash of the camera. The one thing the ring does quite well is actually protect the spine of the flip. Although the material doesn't stretch across the whole of it, because this ring sticks out, you're more likely gonna hit this off the floor if you drop it, rather than the edges on the spine. Personally, I really like this case and I think the added benefit of having the ring on the back is perfect for someone who's constantly dropping their phone and possibly breaking it. And there we go, our top five protective cases for the Z Flip 3. My personal favorites have got to be the UAG for protection as it definitely protects the spine with this little bit of plastic in between. And also a surprise for me, the official silicon case with ring because it feels nice in the hand and you're less likely to drop it in the first place because you've got this ring on the back. I want to give an honorable mention to the Elixir case as I do like the idea of the flip out part on the back which will help stand the phone up which makes it perfect for watching YouTube videos. And while the Otterbox feels like it will protect your phone well, for me it being clear and a fingerprint magnet makes it not one that I'd like to put on my phone constantly and the Spigen case does just feel a little bit thin for a protective case for me. Anyway, that's my roundup of these cases. To buy any of these, please check the links in the description below. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you.